Yo, what is up guys? It is Angel coming back at you with another awesome review. Today we got something I'm pretty pumped about because initially I did not get the original SH Monster Arts Godzilla Minus One or the regular colored version. I missed out on that one. Did not want to pay those crazy aftermarket prices. The figure itself is already an expensive figure and I was not trying to pay $300 for that freaking thing. I hope they re-release it, which I highly doubt they will, but for now, I have here the SH Monster Arts Godzilla Minus One Minus Color version. Have to say, initial reaction is I love this box. It's just gigantic. I know that goes for all the SH Monster Arts figures. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with the company that I ordered this guy from. It literally got here in like two days from Japan. So, really cool. Um, looking at the box here, we got the front here. Really nice looking design. And then we got the back of the box here. You can see this awesome goji. Really cool, very simple. Obviously this is a black and white version of Godzilla Minus One. I'm not mad though, because I think out of all the Godzilla designs so far, and this is just my opinion, this is truly the best one. I really like the way it looks. It's like an, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, a mixture of all the Godzillas and what we like of all the Godzillas in one version. And I think it, it just looks really cool. He he looks very menacing, very dangerous looking, and it has that dinosaurish feel. And I just like the way this one's designed. I'm not a big fan of the US Godzilla design. Obviously the Japanese know where it's at. But yeah, this is the back of the box, really cool. I think there's a little picture of the artist here. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, black and white. I'm pretty sure this is the same pictures of the regular um, release, just in black and white. And then the sides of the box don't have anything special. Just more pictures of Godzilla. But yeah, enough of the talking. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open. All right, guys. So we have the SH Monster Arts Godzilla Minus One Minus Color version out of the box. And first impressions are, I honestly like this guy a lot. I don't really have any gripes. Um, other than the extremely high price point, which is like $150 plus tax plus shipping, it it adds up so fast, you can't even breathe. But I really like this figure a lot, and I don't have any complaints so far. The only thing I would say is to watch out for his spikes. They don't feel very brittle, in my opinion, but they do feel like if you drop them over, they're going to break fairly easy. Um, just because of the, obviously, the the way they're designed and stuff they're very spiky too so be careful not to poke yourself and i'm sure most of you are probably wondering how do the eyes look on this guy because i know controversially the first release had terrible eyes that looked all derpy into the sides i have to say mine look fantastic and um yeah look at that guys His eyes are successfully pointed straight. They look very menacing. And yeah, this guy looks really cool. I like the way he looks a lot. So he's obviously that black and white color. But you know, if, if you did want the regular release, I would say you'd have absolutely no problem painting this guy yourself and making the Godzilla Minus One color version that you would want i think i'm gonna leave it like this i don't have a problem with it it looks good enough to me but um tons of shading tons of paint a lot of his um spines they're all ha they all have that like gray finish to them or that gray added coat or that you know gray touch-ups to it and he really does look black and white it's kind of trippy to see it in person but I think it looks really cool. And I really love how his eyes are super menacing. They're pointed straight. Exactly how I'd want them to be. And he looks good. Articulation wise. So he's got the mouth that can open. He's got the tongue. And his tongue is like a black and white color. His tongue can move in there. It's not really that much better. Sorry, my light. Yeah, it's super black and white, as you could see it now, better in the light. Um, and then, yeah, he, you know, he could look down 
Very tight joints though, so I'd be careful. I'm trying to be careful. You can look up and then, you know, side to side. If I can get it. And then I think this joint on mine may be stuck from what I can tell. It looks like it's supposed to be under the neck, but I don't want to break it. Yeah, so this there's a lot of joints you can't really see this joint right here you could turn his neck even more than you already can and then there's another joint right here which you know helps to move him around arms can go up almost 90 degrees rotation at the upper bicep single jointed elbow but enough I don't, I don't think it needs to move around like <laughs> what what does godzilla really do you know what i mean uh, and then you can move backward and forward rotation at the wrist and then obviously he can do the rotation at the shoulder and then um See how far he reaches across. Not the farthest, but it's cool. Like I said, I don't, I don't need my Godzilla to be an acrobat. Um, and then he can rotate at the upper torso or diaphragm. But I would watch out for his spikes on the back bumping into each other. Um, and then rotation at the lower waist. Legs go that far apart. They go forward that much. And then, you know, backwards, no problem. I'm just glad my joints are tight. I, I, I can't stand loose joints. I'll deal with tight joints. Um, and then you can move at the knee. There's like multiple joints in there. And then rotation at the ankle. And then toe joints, all three toes, I love that. Good movement at the feet. And then obviously his tail has fantastic movement. Some great turning. He can do all that shenanigans. There's joints all the way from this part all the way down. Goes up goes down but you know i would just take my time i, I don't want to break anything so just take your time try not to break anything I, I can't tell if this is how it's supposed to be for this joint right here or if something broke off let me know in the comments down below i'm gonna check the box later that one looks like it's missing a spike right here i hope not if it is I'm going to have to see if I can get a replacement. If it's not, then it just feels, you know, because they're all spiky except for this one. But I could be tripping. I could be tripping. Regardless, I like the way this guy feels in hand. For mine, at least. It doesn't seem like he has any eye problems, which I know a lot of people were are very worried about. Uh, but let's go ahead and get a size comparison. I don't have any mo SH Monster Arts. This is like my first SH Monster Arts in a very long time. I sold all my old ones off. So we'll put him next to some 6-inch figures and you can see what he looks like with those figures. Alright, so you're probably wondering why the heck did I choose all these guys. Well, that's because, like I said initially, I don't really have any Godzilla figures. I have the Super 7 Godzilla Minus 1, which is a fantastic piece. Definitely recommend that. He's so big, I can't fit him in this area, though. So this is what we're working with. Punisher from the Marvel Legends 2-pack to the right. The Ultimate Giver Figma. The Doll Sim from Jada Toys. And the Mezco the Mask to the left. So, yeah. I think he sizes up well, right? He's a 6-inch figure. He's definitely standing at 6 inches tall. He's almost as tall as Punisher. So, yeah. 6-inch wise fantastic all right guys so yeah at the end of the day i think this is a definite pickup if you are wanting obviously a minus color version of godzilla minus one 
or if you missed the last release. For me, I'm personally very satisfied with this figure. I, I see this as an easy touch up if you wanted to maybe make him the original colored Godzilla minus one. But not only that, I just think it's still pretty satisfying. This is a great looking figure. Feels good in hand. Does it feel like the $150 figure that it costs? I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I'll leave that up to you, all you Godzilla professionals for that critique. I, I don't know. I'm iffy about it. Uh, regardless, though, I like the figure. I don't have any QC problems on mine. All the joints feel stiff, well. Um, he has painted straightforward eyes. They look menacing. They look a lot better in person than on camera. Yeah, he looks fantastic. He looks exactly how he was promoted. Um, and I love that because I always, at this point, you don't know what to expect from a figure until you have it in hand. And I think they definitely met my expectations. I'm not going to say they exceeded them because there's nothing phenomenal about it. But for what I wanted, I'm happy with it. Uh, all in all, I'll give this guy a solid 8.6 out of 10. Fantastic figure. The only downfall is the price. I know, like I said, uh, uh, I'm iffy about it and I'm leaving it up to you, but that's my opinion. It's expensive. Uh, it doesn't come with any accessories, um, but he's still a lot of fun. Still a great looking figure and it poses up very well for being such a big beefy boy. Uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you're picking this one up, if you're passing. I recommend it, but that price really stinks. Um, and I'm happy, even though... It's expensive. So yeah, yeah. I know it sounds like I'm bipolar, but you know, that's the hard part about critiquing figures. You got to be honest. And that's my honest opinion. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please subscribe for more awesome action figure stuff. Drop a like, show some love. And yeah, like I said, comment down below letting me know what you think. Um, I really do appreciate it. And I try to get back to most of your comments. I can't get back to all of them, but I try to get back to most of them. Peace out, everyone. Have a great day. Deuces.